Hey everyone, thank you for watching today. I'm super excited. I have to bring you guys an update. Most of you know me from my how to make a subscribe button. Does that look kind of familiar? Mm, something like that. Okay, but, but I got a whole bunch of questions about like, oh, what do you do if you want to move it or different things or, okay. We have to talk about an update that has been made to Keynote and is going to make your animated subscribe button even better. So are you ready? Let's just get into it. Let's go. Let's go. So if you watched the last video, this is very, very familiar and pretty much the same. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on the actual making of the button. Editing Shelly here. I lied. Open up Keynote grab a presentation, doesn't really matter which one, and then what you're going to do is once you have it fired up, let me change this here so you can actually see what's going on here, uh, select everything on the screen and delete it all. So if you remember in the last tutorial what we did was we selected a background color that was like that neon green color. This time what we're going to do is we are going to select that background and instead of a color we are going to hit no fill. This just basically means you're going to have a transparent background. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on the shapes up top and I'm just going to select a shape that kind of looks like a subscribe button would be because I'm not going to look on the internet right now for it. I'm just going to make a simple one inside of Keynote. So I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of like rounded off kind of one and then I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. Of course, I'm going to make the color kind of a YouTube -y red, right? And then of course, you got to have the little play button icon, which is really just a triangle on its side. So I'm going to go once I'm happy with the shape of this and the size, I'm gonna go click on the shape button again and find a triangle. I'm sure they have one and they do. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna put that in the color of white. And then we gotta make sure that that little guy is turned on its side so it looks like a play button. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta add some text that says subscribe. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the word subscribe. I'm going to make sure that the text is white and then I'm going to select a font that is kind of thicker so that you can still see it because you have to remember this is probably going to not be that large on screen so you do want to be able to read it clearly. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of my elements, the triangle, the subscribe, the little you know shape in the back, group them all so that they all are going to be able to animate together in the next step. Once those items are grouped I'm going to go ahead and click action and then I'm going to hit add an effect action because I'm not trying to have it appear. I'm trying to actually already have it be on screen and then add an animation. So I thought this one would be cute if I had it do a pulse. So what I am going to do though, it's a little frantic. I'm going to have the duration be longer. The pulses then will be a little bit slower. You can scale up how large it will be. I think this looks pretty good right there. Now before I show you how to do it the right way, I need to show you the wrong way. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Export as Movie. We're going to make sure it's self-playing. Yes, change the resolution just like in the other video. We're going to do it as a 1080 and then we're going to go ahead and hit Next and export this. I'm going to show you what happens when you bring it into iMovie and why this is the incorrect way to do it. I know, I mean, but bear with me, there's a point to all of this. Let me show you what happens, what it looks like when you bring it into iMovie. Now remember, when you're in iMovie, this clip has got to be on top of your main video, okay? It cannot be on the bottom, it has to be on the top of the timeline. All right, here we go. So here you are, you're playing it through, and you're like, hey, the screen looks black. I thought this was supposed to be transparent, what's happening? And you know what, just for good measure, I'm gonna go back into Keynote. I'm also going to remake this exact same thing. Just gonna change the color of the uh, background to the green color. We're gonna export that and also bring it in so I can show you what we did in the last video. Okay, now we have the same video, one with a green screen, one that is supposed to be a transparent background, and I swear we're getting closer. Here we go. Now they're both in the timeline and we're looking at this and being like, hey, the green is showing up green, the black is showing up black. Great, now let's go up to the menu icon at the very top and we're gonna go select our option for green screen, obviously, because this has a green background. So you see now it is transparent, it's overlaid on top of the video underneath, which is exactly what we want. Except all these people are saying, you can't move it, right? You can't move a green screen, unfortunately. Because when you choose any option from that menu up top, except for blue green screen, then it becomes opaque again and it's not transparent anymore. So you can see if I try and change another option because I wanted to, let's say, make the subscribe button smaller or put it someplace else on the screen, now you're gonna see it's just green. So you, the only way around that would to 
export the entire video, apply the green screen as another layer, but that's really complicated. We don't want to do that. We just want to move this one. So we're like, okay, let's apply that same type of thinking on the new one. What's supposed to be transparent? Let's go through all these options, picture in picture, but it still looks black, just like the other one looked green. Why is it doing this when it is supposed to be transparent? There's a reason I swear we're getting there. Now I'm finally getting to what is the correct thing to do. You're welcome. Let's do this. One small change is going to change everything, I swear. Go back to Keynote one last time. We're going to change it from the green. We're going to go back to no fill. No fill is the correct answer. However, we got to change how we export stuff, all right? So here's the deal. Go to File, Export, Video. There's one thing we got to change. Instead of just changing it to 1080p, what we're going to do is click on that arrow, click Custom, and then you're going to type in your dimensions as usual. 1080 by 1920. And then you got to hit that Apple Pro Res 4444. That makes it so that alpha background is locked into transparency. You're going to see what I mean in just a second. Here we go. Export, bring it into iMovie. I think you know what's next. Drop it down into your timeline and then look at it be all transparent and show what is supposed to be underneath. I'm going to shorten up these clips real quick. Let's just bring them all over so you can see them all in a row the way it was intended and in the order in which we made them. I'm sorry I had to take you through the rough ones to get you to the promised land, but I hope you understand why we are doing this. Watch me make it small and large by doing picture in picture. That is the one that you can use so that you can still have your transparent background and resize all you want. So here they are one more time for your viewing pleasure, the green screen old school way, the one that shall not be named, and the new and improved animated subscribe button. Woo -hoo! You're welcome. You can say you love me, but just remember I am married. So I know it's two years later, but we had to make the update. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now I stand by everything I had in my last video if you still want to see how to make the general animation itself because I didn't spend a lot of time on it in this video. Make sure you go watch my other video. I will link it up here in the cards for you. All right. I will see you in the next video. Bye.